guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to be trying out some of the new Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes collection. I picked up the face palette. I also picked up an uh, eyeliner. It's a brown colour and also has a highlighter at the other end for the waterline. And I also got one lipstick. It's in the Matte Revolution formula which if you've watched some of my other videos I tend to stay away from matte lipsticks but I wanted to give the Charlotte Tilbury matte formulation a go just to see what it was like and I picked that up in the shade Cover Star. It's a really gorgeous peachy nude and I also picked up the Super Nudes. This is the Easy Eye Palette. Now this from what I understand is not a new release but it is a re-release so some of you may not have seen that I never tried the other palette and I do love the nudes shades so I'll swatch that for you as well a bit later on once I'm up to putting the eyeshadow on so this is what the face palette looks like it is beautiful packaging on the outside and it says it's for a runway ready bronze sculpt and glow. It is the ultimate supermodel sun kissed glow in a palette. So <laughs> let's hope it does give a supermodel glow. And inside here is what she looks like. There is a highlighter and this is also I'm going to use it today as a blush on its own. It could go over the top of a blush but I just want to see what it's like just on its own. And then there is two sculpting powders. This one does seem very, very light. So I may sort of use it as, I'll try it first as a sculpt and maybe more as a bronzer. And then this one is called the Super Sculpt. So the highlighter, they call it a Super Glow. It's a soft champagne gold highlighter with a lustrous wet shine texture. And over here is the, it's called the Multi Glow, multi-dimensional golden peach with a lustrous satin finish. And then the lighter one, they just call the Sculpt. It's a natural looking sandy taupe to sculpt, smoke and blur. And then they call this one the Super Sculpt. And this is a rich umber in a cream powder hybrid formula. So here is the highlighter. And this one is called the Super Glow, and that's in that peachy color. Here are the two sculpting shades. This one is probably, for me, better. This is a lot darker, but I will use both. And this is the lighter one here. I'll probably use this more as a bronzer, although it is sort of a bit flat looking, but we'll give it a go. So I'm going to try this really light sculpt shade first and I'm going to take a brush from the new, it's a Sonia G, the Lotus set. This is called the base brush but it's quite dense so hopefully it'll be able to pick up a bit of product and I will try and use it as sort of a sculpt first but I'll probably blend it out and buff it out a bit more so it's more it's a bit of a hybrid, so a sculpt and a bronzer. It has got quite a decent amount of payoff, probably a bit more than I thought it would, but for sculpting, I'd really need to use this shade as well. So I'll also put a bit of this shade near my hairline as well. But really, it's yeah definitely more of perhaps a bronzer shade although it isn't really warm in colouring like they describe it it's more of a taupe colour. So I'm going to take the BK Beauty it's the 105 brush this is quite dense and good for buffing product out so I just sort of want to buff it more up towards the cheekbone area just so it's more of a bronzer. And then I'll go in with the darker shade in a minute. So I do really like the formula of these products. It blends out really, really easily. 
and the color looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. It does show fairly well on my skin, but there possibly should have been two palettes to choose from and then even a darker shade than this one here. My skin tone is light medium, possibly more towards medium, and with summer coming up, it's now spring here, finally in New Zealand, but with summer coming up, my skin will go slightly darker, even though I don't really lay out in the sun, and I don't think this color would show then. So this shade really, for me, is probably better for the winter and early springtime when my skin is a bit lighter. So now I'm going to use that darker shade. I'm going to use the same brush and I will use this more as sculpting. And once I put it on with this brush, then I will buff it out a little bit more. And to buff this out, I'm going to take the Sonia G. This is the smooth buffer. And hopefully this will just blow it out slightly. So I'm really pleased how both these sculpting shades turned out. Even though I used the lighter one for the bronzer, it does give a beautiful, soft, even though it isn't really a warm shade, it has given a slight warmth to the skin. But the Super Sculpt one, the darker shade, looks really, really good. And they also blend it out beautifully. So this formulation is gorgeous and really easy to blend out. And I did forget to say that even though this is the Super Nude collection, this palette is actually called Nude Gasm. And she has bought two other ones out before. One was the Glow Gasm. And I can't remember what the other palette was, but I never tried the other two. That's why I thought I would give this one a go. So now I'm going to put on the eyeshadow and then I'll come back to the palette to finish off after the shadows and do my cheeks. So this is the Super Nudes eyeshadow palette. As I said, this isn't a new release. This is a re-release as I understand it, but I never purchased the other one. Otherwise I would have doubled up. So it's quite a small palette, but has some really beautiful neutral shades in it. And I love neutral eyeshadows. And inside the palette has a plastic covering. And like the other, well, most of the other Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes that I've purchased, there is a guide of how you can use these shades. And I think that's really good, especially for someone who doesn't really know where to start with a palette. This is a great way to start out if you're ever feeling a bit intimidated by it. But in saying that, this is a neutral palette, so there's nothing too intimidating about it at all. And also on the outside of the palette, it says that the first three is like for a day eye, and the other three is for a date eye if you want to have a smoky look. But of course, you can just mix them up as well. So on her website, she says, discover two superstar nude satin matte eye looks in one easy to use palette. She says that these features three cool caramel brown shades and three warm bronze shades for universally flattering nude tone smoky eye magic. All shades just swatched beautifully on my arm. Also, this black shade was really smooth as well. This is the lightest shade in the palette, and I don't think even I can hardly see it on my arm. It just almost matches my skin tone perfectly. So let's get into these eyeshadows. I've dipped my brush, it's the Rafa number 15, into this shade here. And I want to keep the look fairly simple. These blend really, really beautifully. And I'm actually going to place that shade all over each lid as well. 
Then I'm going to take the Sonia G Crease Pro brush and next go into this shade here just to give a little bit of depth into the crease. But these are beautiful to blend. They're really, really good. Then I'm going to use that same shade using the Rafa number no. 3 brush and put some on my lower lash line these are so smooth you can see just with one swipe back and forth this really easy to apply so i do want to try that black shade so i'm going to take the sony g worker 3 brush and i'm just going to put a little bit on the outer corner i'll probably put a little bit on the lower lash line as well I'm just going to take it up slightly. Often I go right up, but I'm not going to today. I just want to keep it fairly simple. And then I'm just going to blend that out slightly. This is the Chukuhodo Blend Brush. And for the rest of the eye, I'm actually going to go back into this palette since it can be used as an eyeshadow as well. And I'm going to take this peach color and use one of the Sonia G brushes. This is the Builder 3. I'm going to try it dry first and then I may do another layer with wetting down the brush as well. Well, I think there's enough payoff just using it dry. So I'm not going to wet my brush, but this is a really pretty shade. I think it just goes really well with this eyeshadow palette too. I want to add a little bit more to my lower lash line. So I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow palette just in the black color using the Rafa number no. 3 brush. I'm not going to put a lot on just to give a little bit more definition. And then I've gone back to the face palette because I want to use the highlighter for the inner corners of my eye. So I'm going to try it with the Rafa number no. 3 brush and see how that goes. And that highlighter worked perfectly to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And I really love this peach color here. It is gorgeous with this black that's been smoked out a bit. Really, really pretty. So as I said, I also picked up an eyeliner. It's the Super Nudes Liner Duo with a brown color at one end and a highlighter for highlighting the waterline. I have got a couple of Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners and I really, really like them. I find that they don't budge or transfer during the day. So I'll swatch these on the back of my hand so you can take a look. So the highlighter actually looks like a really lovely shade. Sometimes these highlighters for your waterline can be a bit too white and look a bit strange but this has sort of like a bit of a slight peach undertone so I'm hoping it'll look really really good so I'll try the eyeliner first if it's anything like her other ones that I've tried it should be really lovely So I also put a bit of the eyeliner on my lower lash line as well. It went on super smooth. I didn't have to tug at my eyelids. When you have more mature skin, the skin moves around. So a creamy eyeliner is really good because then you don't get that drag or pulling the skin over. So just as good as the other Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners that I've used. So I'm now going to give this highlighter a go. So I did put two layers of the highlighter pencil on. The first one showed up a little bit, but I left it about a minute or two and then put another coat on 
and it's given much more of that bright eye look. It went on really well and I love the shade of this. It's not too white. It looks it looks natural so it gives that highlight with on your lower lash line without that sort of artificial look. And I've also left both these shades swatched on my hand. So towards the end of the video, they would have been on quite a while. And I'll give them the rub test to see if they budge or move around. So now I'm going to put some mascara on off camera. It's the Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. I've spoken about this one before. I really like this mascara. I find with my oily skin, it doesn't budge or transfer throughout the day so I'll do that and then I'll be back to finish the rest of my makeup. So now let's get back into the face palette again. I'm going to use this shade here as a blush as well and it went really beautifully when I used it as an eyeshadow so I'm hoping it'll look really good on my cheeks as well. Hopefully it's not going to add too much texture. It's probably one that I really need to buff in. But I'm going to take the Sonia G, it's the classic cheek brush, and first put it on using this. So there is a real glow to the cheeks once it's applied and it does emphasize some texture. It's not too bad and it really is a beautiful shade. And I've just wiped the smooth buffer brush. This is the Sonia G one that I used before and I'm just going to buff that in and just see if that helps. Sometimes it does if a blush is a bit glowy or got too much of a satin texture and adds or emphasizes texture sometimes buffing it in house it still does show a little bit of texture but it depends whether that bothers you or not but I do love this shade I think it is really really pretty so now I'm going to use the highlighter I'm going to take the Rafa fan brush it's the number 20 and just try this first so for me using the fan brush was enough the fan brush picked up the product really easily out of the palette and it's laid down enough highlight. You could use a more dense brush to get an even more blingy look, but this is certainly enough for me. But this just blended out beautifully too. It really is a gorgeous palette. So now let's try the lipstick. This is the Super Nudes one, and this is in the Matte Revolution formula, and this is supposed to be a soft matte finish. So this is in the shade Cover Star. I just picked up the one lipstick. I will swatch it on the back of my hand so you can take a look. It is a really beautiful, it's a peachy type nude. And it did feel really nice when I swatched it on the back of my hand just then. So we'll see what it's like. So I really like that shade. And it does feel, even though it's a soft matte, it does feel quite creamy because the other day I used a Suku matte lipstick and those felt quite good. But they did feel drier than this one. So at this stage I quite like this formula. As I've said in other videos, I tend to stay away from matte lipsticks. I prefer more of a satin finish. But if this stays feeling like it does now, then this formula is really, really nice. And I'll probably buy some more shades in this formula. And here is the finished overall look. I think all together it looks really, really pretty. Just a beautiful overall nude look. I really like the palette. I probably like the deeper sculpting shade more. 
but as I said, it blended out really, really beautifully. I know these eyeshadows aren't a new release, but I'm really impressed with them. They blend out beautifully. So if you're looking for a new nude eyeshadow palette and one that has a really good formula, I recommend this. I really thought when applying the shadows to my eyes, they just blended out really, really easily. And the palette also can be used on the eyes as well. And you could do your whole eye look just using the face palette if you wanted to by using those two different colored sculpting shades to begin with and then go over with this peach shimmer shade as well. I really love the eyeliner and I still have it on the back of my hand. So I'll give it a rub and it sort of bleeds out a tiny bit, but really it's budge proof. So I've got high hopes for this one on my eyes today. The highlighter shade doesn't seem to be moving much either. So I'll give an update on the comments below once I've uploaded this video to YouTube and let you know how this highlighter wore throughout the day. I really like the lipstick. It's probably one of the better matte formulas that I tried and I've just had a bit of a break for about half an hour or so and it still doesn't feel very dry at all. So if it's like this for the rest of the day, then I'm definitely going to try some more shades in that matte formula. I think this color here is really, really pretty. As I was saying, it does add a, or emphasize a little bit of texture. It does help by buffing it in, but it is a gorgeous color. And there's a lot of people that doesn't bother them if it emphasizes a bit of texture. So if that doesn't bother you, then I would say that this palette is a really good buy and I think you would really enjoy it and as I said you could get quite a lot of uses out of it and use it for eyeshadows as well. I really like the highlighter shade. I got a lot of payoff just by using the fan brush but you could get even more payoff if you used a more dense brush or probably just even used your finger. So a really nice collection from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm really pleased that I picked them up for a really easy nude natural look. I think that this is really really beautiful. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.